I started off with this model of the three curves. And by having the three restraint, the curves are, are lower and not so pronounced. And so for the final model, I've removed two of the restraint and kept only one. And the whole building is more uplifted. And it also helps Having a restraint here also helps for fixing of some of the members. So some of them doesn't need to extend all the way to the mainframe. You can stop short and be fixed at the secondary member. Um, the building has eight support points and it seems quite stable. Seems quite stable, but I'm aware that most likely some of these members, especially the main frame and the two trusses in the middle will need to be doubled up, but I've kept it as it is. I want, to, I want it as minimal structure as possible for the time being. And for the roof, um, I struggled with the lattice work at first. So some of it, which should be at, at the top, uh, at the bottom. So um, another worry is that having so much lattice work, you will be very messy at the at at the middle part. So I went back uh, to a picture of a beetle and found out that their wings are never overlap; they always stop in the middle. And so now the purlins extend all the way, but the rafters actually stop in the middle. And this um, really simplifies the building, the lattice work. I've also introduced an overhang in the front because even though the profile of the mainframe tapers out, I think it still needed more protection from the, uh, from the sun and rain. So I added this overhang which is also fixed back to the secondary lateral restraint. Um, so yeah, that's the final model.